Hi there! You are watching a video of above ground storage tanks in industrial plants. Storage tanks can be classified by the type of roof in fixed roof tanks and floating roof tanks as shown on the following pictures. Fixed roof tanks are used for the storage of a large number of products, usually non-volatile fluids at temperatures close to ambient. It can be said that the largest number of applications in the industry use fixed roof tanks. When the fluid to be stored is a product that tends to evaporate at operating temperature of the tank, a vapor chamber is created between the level of the liquid and the tank roof. To eliminate the vapor chamber between the liquid level and the roof, floating devices resting on the liquid are used. The tank design shall minimize storage losses. Main losses are due to evaporation of the stored fluid. The selection of the roof governs the tank design. Storage tanks with fixed roofs are used to store non-volatile liquids with a low content of light, non-flammable products such as water, diesel, asphalt, crude oil, etc. These type of roofs are mainly used for the storage of non-flammable fluids and products such as water, diesel and asphalt. The reason for this is that this type of roofs favors vaporization of the fluid. Based on lessons learned and good engineering practices, a selection criteria could be the following. Self-supported roofs will be chosen for tanks with diameters minor than 16 meters. For diameters between 16 meters and 22 meters, we are, let's say, obliged to use roof frames. For diameters larger than 22 meters, normally beams and rafters are used. Fixed roofs can adopt different configurations depending on the dimensions of the tank, the fluid to be stored, the tank material, and the manufacturing method, among other things. The three configurations accepted by the API 650 code are Cone type Dome type and Umbrella type At the same time, the roof can be self-supporting or supported. Conical roofs are characterized by their easy construction. The configuration of this type of roof is a cover with the shape of a and surface of a straight cone. Dome type roofs are less used than conical roofs because of the complex and difficult manufacturing process. Each sheet and segment should conform to the radius of curvature of the roof, thus increasing the cost and delivery time. Umbrella type roofs are a variety of the dome type, which only keeps the curvature on the vertical axis. On the circumferential axis, the umbrella type roof is similar to the cone type roof. Self-supporting roofs consists of a set of overlapped or butt welded plates. Because of their physical shape, they are capable of supporting themselves without any structural element. They are supported at the outer part of the roof by the tank shell. The thickness of the roof plates must be calculated and designed so that the roof can be self-supported. Self-supporting roofs can adopt any of the three configurations mentioned earlier, conical, dome type or umbrella type. The main characteristics of self-supporting roofs are They are used for small tank sizes 
Roof plates are normally butt welded but can, can be overlapped as well. And regarding the design, the thickness will be calculated according to section 5.10.5.1. The maximum thickness is 13 millimeters and the minimum thickness is 5 millimeters without any corrosion allowance in both cases. And the maximum slope is 37 degrees and the minimum slope is 9.5 degrees. Supported roofs share the same characteristics as the supporting type. Although in this case, a structure is used to support the roof plates. The main reason for using a frame is due to the fact that the weight of the plates to be supported and the external loads applied to the roof on weight, mechanical elements, snow, etc. Depending on the diameter of the tank and the loads to be supported, the roof will be designed with or without columns. This type of roof consists of a set of overlapping welded plates supported by a structure on which plates of the roof rests. The structure is formed by a system of rafters and purlings which are attached to the tank shell. This structure will be designed to withstand all acting loads. In this case, in addition to rafters and purlings, and due to the size of the roof, it is necessary to use intermediate beams, which will form regular polygons or circles. Depending on the loads to be supported, columns will be located on the edges of the polygon. Beams receive the loads from the rafters and transmit these loads to the columns. The objective of the columns is to minimize the weight of the roof transmitted to the shell, reducing the cost of the structure and more importantly, transmitting lower axial loads to the tank wall. The typical configuration of the supporting structure is shown where the rafters are the elements supporting the roof plates. Then the ring beams receive the loads of all rafters in the frame. And finally, the columns support the ring beams of the frame and transmit the loads to the ground or foundation. Depending on the diameter of the tank and the rafters length adopted, there will be as many intermediate beams as necessary. Let's take a closer look to these three elements in a large diameter tank. In this case, there are three rows of rafters, external, intermediate and internal. These rafters will be supported by two ring beams one external and one internal. In turn, two rows of columns and the central column are needed to support the ring beams. The main characteristics of supported roofs with columns are They are used for tanks of large sizes. The roof plates are overlapped and not welded to the structure. The columns should be checked against buckling according to section 5.10.3.4. The minimum slope of the roof will be 116. Normally, beams form a regular polygon or circles and columns rests on the tank bottom plates. When loads transmitted by the roof to the tank wall are very high, the thicknesses of the shell courses might be governed by the acting axial compression. When columns cannot be used to reduce these loads, an alternative is to use lighter roof configurations to minimize these effects reducing the transmitting load to the tank shell. 
A very good alternative are aluminum dome roofs, like the one shown in the screen. Aluminum dome roofs are lighter, they are self-supported, obviously more expensive than other types of roofs due to the labor costs and material. They are bolted assembled. They have a triangular structure for rigidity reasons. Normally they are used for large diameter tanks and the design criteria it is indicated in Annex G of the API 650 code where the maximum design temperature cannot exceed 93 degrees Celsius.